Imagine a world where the usual giants don't hold all the cards. Where a group of emerging nations band together, not just to stake their claim, but to redefine the global economic landscape itself. Bricks, 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 bricks. Bricks nations have been meeting in Cape Town with South Africa hosting fellow members Brazil, Russia, India, and China. The story of Bricks starts in the early 21st century, and it was coined by Jim O'Neill of Goldman Sachs in 2001. But Brick was more than just an acronym. It symbolized the potential shift in global economic growth highlighted by four countries poised for rapid growth. And their backstory took a practical turn when these four countries decided to put together their first summit in 2009, transforming BRIC from an investment theory to a strategic alliance. And then South Africa joined in 2010, completing the BRICS as we know it today. This wasn't just about economic growth. It was a statement. Acknowledge me. These nations, once on the fringes of global decision making, were now demanding a seat at the table. So BRICS set out with a clear vision to create an alternative pole in the global economic order. You want to know what their first major step was? Establishing the New Development Bank in 2014, an alternative to the Western dominated World Bank and IMF. And this bank came in with the initial capital of $100 billion. This was a clear sign that they didn't just want to participate in global economy, but to influence its very foundations. But it was more than just creating parallel institutions. BRICS aimed to rewrite the rules of global trade and finance, and they emphasized the need of a more equitable global governance system, which started to challenge the long-held dominance of Western powers. So they started to push for trade in local currencies and have them less dependent on the US dollar. And this would allow them to diversify their economic partnership beyond the Western-centered alliances. So the essence of the BRICS alliance lies in its strategic unity and shared ambition. Elements that are crucial for business growth in an increasingly competitive market. Now let's take you, the business owner. How can you use BRICS strategy to form your own alliance? Number one, I would identify complementary partners. Seek out businesses that essentially enhance your own. Number two, you want to find somebody with a unified vision. Maintaining a shared goal will leverage unique strengths amongst your competition. Number three, expand through collaboration. Use the networks of your partners to reach new markets. Number four, fuel innovation through synergy. This will allow you to pool resources together so you guys can come up with the most incredible product out there or service. And number five, sustainable partnerships for growth. You gotta be able to build long-term evolving collaborations. Otherwise, your partners are just gonna get bored of you. And the most intriguing way for business owners to collaborate is through a documentary project. Because we all know that documentaries can be a powerful marketing tool to not only share expertise, but also to share stories. By partnering with businesses in different sectors, you can create a documentary that highlights diverse industry insights. For instance, a tech entrepreneur, a marketing guru, and a manufacturing business owner can all collaborate on a documentary. Each one is gonna bring unique content and perspective, which is gonna result in a rich, rich narrative. This collaboration isn't only going to create a compelling documentary, but it's also going to serve as a cross-promotion platform. And believe me, it's going to reach a much wider audience instead of trying to do it yourself. So by adopting the BRIC strategy, you're opening up your doors to not only innovation, but market expansion. Whether it's forming a strategic alliance or collaborating on a documentary, the key lies in leveraging diverse strengths 
for a unified goal. And you bet your ass your journey towards growth can adopt this strategy. Forget traditional competition and just start embracing cooperative success. So this year, consider the power of collaboration, not just in conventional business terms, but also in creative ventures like documentaries. It's time to join forces, share stories, and grow together. And if you wanna know more about documentaries, click this playlist right here. It's gonna teach you everything you need to know. And until next time, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.